Amazon's Too Sexy in N number 039 semicolon Justice League N number 039? Costumes spark feminist backlash and debate. Amazon's Too Sexy in Justice League? Costumes spark feminist backlash and debate. The legendary female warriors from Wonder Woman get a makeover in Justice League, and some people aren't happy about it. Wonder Woman and the Amazonian warriors of Themyscira are back in Zack Snyder's Justice League movie, and because this is about feminism and superheroes, we've already got a big internet fight on our hands. Fans of Wonder Woman got up in arms this week when behind-the-scenes shots from Justice League showed some of the Amazons wearing much skimpier outfits than they did in the first movie. The photographs went viral, spreading the idea that Snyder's had taken these badass warrior queens and turned them into eye candy. Hey men, would you wear this to a fight? Actress Jessica Chastain tweeted. Hint. Don't expose your vital organs. Ugh, I miss, Wonder Woman director, Patty Jenkins. However, fans of Zack Snyder, and critics of feminist arguments in general, have been quick to point out that the Justice League Amazons are pictured in full armor in other scenes from the film, and the skimpier outfits might be from a more primitive era in the Amazons' history. Meanwhile, the Amazons from Wonder Woman occasionally wore midriff-bearing outfits and no one seemed to mind. This argument was reinforced when Brookins, a CrossFit champion who played an Amazon warrior in both Wonder Woman and Justice League, told USA Today that her skimpier outfit didn't bother me at all. The actress pointed out that not every Amazon wore a two-piece outfit in Justice League, and the girls on set, we never thought of, the new costumes, as a sexy version. It felt a little more glamorous, if anything, because we had bigger, beautiful hair, which I loved. She added, I'm an athlete first, right? Usually, I can't wear anything without someone commenting about my, muscular, body. So for me, it was actually really cool to be able to show it and not immediately feel masculine, but still very feminine. Before Snyder fans could get too far into their victory lap, however, the opposing side argued that this was less about sex appeal and more about functional, authentic looking battle armor. While the Amazons did occasionally wear midriff bearing outfits in Wonder Woman, it was mostly in scenes when they were training or just hanging out in Themyscira, not riding into battle against soldiers with guns. Their outfits also looked reasonably comfortable and kept their hair out of their faces, while some of the more glamorous promo shots from Justice League feature sculpted boobs, smaller skirts and loose, heavily styled hair. Either way, we won't really know how well the Amazons are portrayed in Justice League until we watch the movie this weekend, though at this rate, some people might end up skipping it and waiting for Patty Jenkins' Wonder Woman sequel instead.